Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing top five bunk eyes today. Also, I'm hosting a tournament next week for 2,500 Robux. And join my Discord server. Number five, Dither. I put it at number five because it's kinda. It's a good Bankai, but it has trouble boss ready. And this is the one I use. Plague, it's like a poison type move. It has an area of effect. Very good for boss rating. Very good for 2v1 situations. Final play is a large sword slice. It does like two bars of damage. Goes crazy. I put it in number five because theater as a whole is a good sea guy. The one I personally use and it's good for my playstyle. Has good counter. It depend you need a crit. Like a good weapon to flow well together with it. I recommend Longsword because the Bunkai gives you invincibility frames. So that's why I is number five. Overall, good all around, nothing too game breaking yet. Now, here's where it starts to turn up Fire Bunkai. Fire Bunkai is very, very destructive. You can see this guy does World Breaker and everyone is falling up and like you can't do anything to stop it it's guard breakable even if you run for it it'll like still do crazy damage Advent heat decent move but the main bread and butter with fire when you kill someone it turns them into like a dead soldier who helps you fight which is insane i will put it in the top three but one thing holding it back is very very readable in a fight encounterable and what else i can say it's a solid bankai overall it's just the base fire move set knocks it down a little bit base fire is kind of garbage i'm not gonna cap so that's about it for fire blood bankai is very powerful as soon as someone pops it they can control the whole battlefield just by using the m1s would let's give you like five feet of range for on the damage it does like 2.5 bars per hit it's insane and it has this wide range move that does like a thousand slashes blood bunkai goes crazy the only thing i can say bad about blood this base form is pretty predictable and bad and like the flyers you lose health every time you miss a hit that's why i wouldn't use blood bunkai personally but i can see the appeal it's very strong and I will put it over fire just by saying the M1s bro. The M1s carry this bunker. If it didn't have the M1s, it would be probably worse than theater honestly. But Blood Bunkai is ridiculously strong. And people have 20 v one with it on multiple occasions time and time again. Super strong Bunkai. Flower is ridiculously powerful. If you didn't know, Flower has the highest damage out of any Sea Guy in the game dead and it has a bankai what basically has a domain expansion it traps you in a bubble of swords what's like that don't get me started on an m1s bro it's basically like a weaker version of blood m1s but it goes crazy you will never lose a 1v1 against any ball standing with flower it's basically unstoppable you could boss with anyone who's in that circle when you have flower bankai pop you'll die guaranteed Nothing can beat Flower Bunkai in this domain. As you can see right now, Ink in itself is virtually unbeatable. It'll nerf you to the point where you can't do anything. And it has a one tap combo. Do you know how strong a Bunkai has to be to have a one tap combo? You can get nerfed, your damage can get nerfed, your moves can get sealed. It's crazy, bro. Bunkai, Ink Bunkai is nearly unstoppable. You can tag multiple people with the name Ant and they can't do any damage to you. And you have these explosive M1s. You basically become a fucking god. You cannot stop Ink Bunkai. It's the strongest one in the game and nobody can beat it. Nah, Vault Standing, not a Resurrection. It's the strongest Bunkai of all time. 